I never really told you guys what I do, right? Professionally, I work in broadcast and television, and today I have a little gig that I'm gonna do. So we're gonna head over to Santa Monica and bring this whole cart that I'll explain later. This is what's typical that I bring on my custom-made cart. Venice Beach right now. Uh, we're gonna be streaming a friend's DJ party. I'll introduce you to him right now. Howdy, partner. <laughs> we have to bring all this stuff to the roof, and uh, there's no elevator. <laughs> Wow, look at this place. Right, we're gonna set up here, on here, for a placements party. <laughs> we have all of this to play with. By this, I mean this. All right, we have it all set up. I have to set up this entire thing that I'll show you guys in a second. We're ready for showtime. You guys ready to go? It's live. It's live. It's a placement part of party. <laughs> here in Venice Beach celebrating my friend who is also a streamer replacement. He recently got partnered on Twitch. He wanted me to set up this entire stream rig that I usually do for gigs. Uh, we have four cameras set up. We got some streamers over there. They got cameras. Uh, very dystopian time. But anyways, congratulations to replacement for getting partnered on Twitch. Cowboy hat on to celebrate his partner party, but before the sun goes down, I just want to show you guys what I'm working with exactly. There's one, there's two, there's three. They're all Sony mirrorless cameras with different lenses, multi signal lenses. And then I have uh, an action camera over there pointing at the beautiful sunset. I then have the HDMI from the output of the switcher into a wireless streaming encoder. Usually I use the Live U, but in this case we're using Replacements Bellabox. Which looks like this. This is the Bellabox and uh, I did a video about this uh, last year. I'll, I'll link that in the description. All the audio is coming in from the mixer over there into uh, XLR inputs here on the side of the mixer. Uh, my switcher, I mean. I'm monitoring here on an Animos monitor. And this is a Sparta cart that I got the idea from, from DSLR Video Shooter, which I'll also link. Essentially, that's how I do all the productions like this. So if you are looking to hire a live stream production, hit me up.
it's just it's it's incredible. I have I have some awesome people around me. It's uh, you know thank you to John and Seth for this production. Like fucking incredible. Thank you so thank much, you. man. Thank you to fucking Mark Nificent for hosting his space and opening it to us. Thank you to everybody for being here. It's just it's incredible. It feels so good. Thank you, truly. Thank you. has a phone holder here too so that makes it really convenient Getting some some ending tacos. I just, I just wanted to show you guys how uh, a video production, live video production is. Also, congratulations to Replacement for finally getting partner on Twitch. Oh, this was his man. eighth uh, try at applying for a Twitch partner. Well, what, what's your Twitch partner comment? Uh, it's not worth it. <laughs> SF. I'm here for SF. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye. bye. We were supposed to have like this podcast thing. The the theme of my podcast is that Twitch partner program is a scam. It is. What's it your comment is. about that? 100%. That's it. It's That's scam. it? You don't want to say Twitch partner. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for a partner, but like, what the fuck? Why did it... Right. It, it, it was, it was Do really you have overkill. anything to say to the really partner overkill. manager that reviewed your application? You know, thanks for finally approving me. I appreciate. Do you have to say to the partner partner manager who who denied your application seven times? Yeah. 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 What do you, you want to say? Fuck you. <laughs>